Hi, my name is Devin. And I am Sam. And we're the Christophers. <laughs> so we met whenever we were both going to college at SIU. Uh, Sam's a dental hygienist. She was going through the dental hygiene program and I was going through the master's program for social work. I went on a date with him because I needed patients in order to graduate from hygiene school. We both graduated from Southern in 2006, got married in 2010, and we have two beautiful small children and um, have been attending the journey, what, a year and about three months now. A year and three months. Uh, well, for myself, I grew up in a small country church here in Southern Illinois and um, you know, grew up in the church, went every Sunday, went to um, church camp, was saved, um, and was baptized as a young age, but I don't think I fully grasped what, um, what everything meant until probably here recently, which is kind of sad. And for me, I grew up, um, I grew up going to church. Uh, I... I felt like I was a religious person. I did not, I don't, I didn't really understand what it meant to be a Christian. I thought doing good things, um, following the Ten Commandments, uh, that was what you had to do in order to earn your way into heaven. And um, as I got older, uh, I didn't go to church as much. Um, I, going to college, uh, I, <clears throat> I would say that I just got lost. For me, my way of coping with problems was to um, start to to start drinking. Um, and at first, it wasn't problematic. And then, uh, the as as time went on, I was drinking more and more, and it became out of control, and it became a problem for me. Uh, it got to the point that I was it was affecting my health. I was. I was definitely on a route that would have killed me at a young age. Um, I was no longer able to control my drinking and I was doing it every day. And I was hiding it from Sam. I was, uh, I was lying about drinking. I was leaving home uh, on random trips to uh, go to the store. And I wasn't there for the kids. I wasn't there for Sam. and. And the more that that started happening, the more I withdrew um, myself emotionally from our marriage and our relationship to the point that we really just were um, coexisting barely, just kind of passing by each other in life. And I was fearful because our kids were starting to see and feed off of our our problems. These past probably three or four years have been like a dark place and um, and you know I, I remember there were many nights just praying in lots of tears that he he would protect our family and keep us together no matter what because we took those vows um, when we got married and I wasn't gonna let anything break those vows. So I ended up going to um, a treatment facility uh, which was was exactly what I needed. Um, it was hard because I was away from the kids but I knew that um, it was in the long run what was going to make me a better father. Um, a better husband, a better friend, a better family member. Whenever I came home from there, uh, things were things were better, and we that's whenever we just we started discussing um, trying to find a church together, uh, because while I was healthier, I was a healthier person. Something was still missing in my life, um, and. God knew that. God knew that it wasn't just my alcoholism that was needing to be fixed. Um, it was my soul. Both of our souls. Both of our souls. Yeah. 
end our marriage. And it wasn't until I, I gave up and I asked God, take over. I'm, I'm failing at this. I'm, I, can't, I can't do it anymore. I don't know what to do in order to fix this. And that's whenever things finally started to change for us. Like I was saying, I was, I was lost. I completely didn't know what I was doing with my life. Each day I'd wake up and I had no direction on what I was going to do. Um, but now that I have Christ in my life and Jesus in my life, in our lives, um, it's not like a laundry list of things that you have to right. to check off in order to, to be okay um, and for his love. Um, yeah. It's been there the whole time. I never really understood what grace was um, until hearing it at church that it was, there's nothing that we could do on our own. You can't earn your way into heaven, that it was God's love and Jesus dying on the cross for our sins. Um, his perfection traded for our sins that allows us to um, be forgiven. I feel like uh, we've learned as a couple kind of um, how to, to love each other mm -hmm. again. Uh, we lost a lot of that. I feel like they're, I feel like we're kind of learning to date each other again. And it's been, it's been nice because he's a new person and I'm a new person and kind of learning, um, learning each other again. The and right way. The right way. And taking, realizing that it's okay to take time out for ourselves and to, to kind of regroup and focus on what truly should be important in our lives. <clears throat> yeah. Knowing things are in God's hands. Yeah. And I, I don't have to be in control. You don't have to be in control. And God's got a plan for us. And that as long as we put him first and with everything that we do, that he's going to look out for us. And that's a huge relief. Yeah, it's a huge relief.